Hello everyone, it's day two and I'm going uh, to see around uh, Boston. I bought uh, this gold pass uh, for one day with three attractions and I'm going to aquarium, uh, cruise and uh, the bus around uh, the city. Mm, yes, so I hope it will be fun and I'm taking you uh, with me. So we arrived uh, to the harbor. There is a theater and we are going to the aquarium. Very, very excited.
top of this aquarium that we saw previously and we have this giant giant front here wow it's it's huge
Well, we are not going uh, to the east side. We are going behind the building to grab some lunch. And I promise it's a nice place. And I'm actually really hungry at the hotel. The breakfast are very poor. So it's uh, 3 o'clock maybe p.m. And I'm pretty hungry. So looking forward to, to grab some specialties. Not impressed with this uh, stuff. Let's see here. This is the Freedom Trail, starting here. It's uh, about four kilometers long, so definitely I will not be walking. But we saw some of the landmarks. And we are right uh, here at Quincy Market. No, we are not going here. This is actually our destination to grab some food. Yes, we are looking for something. Uh, yes, we are looking for some lobster rolls. Oh, here we have. Let's uh, look around. This is how it looks inside, in the very center. This looks awesome also they have uh, baked shrimp baked paddock pie and lobster and the second floor of the food court and we are going downstairs to grab some lunch so yes we found our place soup and other great stuff and the great stuff that we will be having is not chowder. It will be, I think, lobster roll or lobster mac and cheese. So here it is, and we will try, and I will let you know how it tastes. So I must say, this mac and cheese um, is not my thing, uh, really. It might be that I'm not a fan of mac and cheese in general, but you see the chunks of lobster um, are very big though. But next time I will try something, uh, something else, something different. Chowder or uh, lobster roll.
we are in the museum store but we won't be going to the museum just looking around here morning everyone it's uh, day three and i continue my sightseeing uh, tour yesterday uh, i did aquarium and uh, bus ride historic uh, ride around uh, boston twice so uh, i made some nice videos from the historic uh, sites i've been uh, for lunch at quincy market um, um and today probably i will do the same but i will choose uh, something uh, different maybe a uh, soup and uh, the plan for today and the plan for today so uh, i didn't manage to do the cruise so i'm going for a cruise and then i will go to the tea party museum uh, for the afternoon tea <laughs> Hello, today I'm back for lunch at Quincy Market and today I went for lobster with this. Looks like this. And I hope it will be better than mac and cheese yesterday. I hope so. Oh yes guys, I quite like it. Big chunks of lobster. Yes, it's very nice. We are back at the harbor today and we are taking this uh, historical cross. It uh, lasts one hour. I'm excited to be here back. And afterwards I'm planning to go to the tea party museum to do the afternoon tea. And it's pretty much it for today. I would like to do whale watching, but it's uh, four hours, so definitely uh, not uh, today and uh, tomorrow. Maybe next time when I will be in Boston. And they have these uh, duck tours, so it's similar what it is in Dublin, Viking uh, tours that uh, lands you eventually in the water, and it's uh, so much so I think it's uh, similar. It's the, the one boat is here and the other is uh, here.
This would give rise to her nickname, Old Ironsides. She went on to fight 42 battles and never lost one of them. To keep her active duty status in the U.S. Navy, the Constitution must travel at least one nautical mile every year. This she will always do on Independence Day, the 4th of July, where she'll be escorted from the docks of the Navy Yard out to Castle Island. And there, in front of the Fort Independence, she'll fire a 21-gun salute in honor of America's birthday before returning once more to the Navy Yard to dock again, facing in the opposite direction this time so that both sides of the vessel will weather evenly throughout the year. fish, sharks, penguins, seals, and in particular, one very old sea turtle, Myrtle the Turtle. She's over 90 years old, and she looks fabulous. Good morning. It's uh, another day in Boston. And uh, the plan for today. Um, yesterday, I was planning to go to the tea party museum, actually to the uh, tea shop. Uh, but uh, it was closed. Uh, it is closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So uh, today is Thursday and I'm uh, going uh, for a quick uh, look around uh, in, the, in the shop, in the restaurant. We are right at the spot, Boston Tea Party uh, Museum. Uh, we won't be going uh, inside the museum. I think the admission is uh, $32, so we will skip this day. There is a nice uh, shop and cafe uh, from what I heard, so we will have a quick uh, look around and we will see what is there. So charming. Overwhelming. We found the way to the tea room. Okay, I think this one is the part of the adventure if you buy a ticket. So cool. Next time, oh, they are throwing actually uh, the tea into the sea. It's very funny. I'm definitely doing it the next time. Thank you. 